In mathematics, the covariant derivative is a way of specifying a derivative along tangent vectors of a manifold. Alternatively, the covariant derivative is a way of introducing and working with a connection on a manifold by means of a differential operator, to be contrasted with the approach given by a principal connection on the frame bundle, see affine connection. In the special case of a manifold isometrically embedded into a higher dimensional Euclidean space, the covariant derivative can be viewed as the orthogonal projection of the Euclidean derivative along a tangent vector onto the manifold's tangent space. In this case the Euclidean derivative is broken into two parts, the extrinsic normal component and the intrinsic covariant derivative component. In physics, the covariant derivative is the derivative that under a general coordinate transformation transforms covariantly, that is, linearly via the Jacobian matrix of the coordinate transformation. This article presents an introduction to the covariant derivative of a vector field with respect to a vector field, both in a coordinate-free language and using a local coordinate system and the traditional index notation. The covariant derivative of a tensor field is presented as an extension of the same concept. The covariant derivative generalizes straightforwardly to a notion of differentiation associated to a connection on a vector bundle, also known as a causal connection. Topic. History Historically, at the turn of the 20th century, the covariant derivative was introduced by Gregorio Ricci Curbastro and Tullio Levi Civita in the theory of Riemannian and pseudo Riemannian geometry. Ricci and Levi Civita, following ideas of Elwin Bruno Christoffel, observed that the Christoffel symbols used to define the curvature could also provide a notion of differentiation which generalized the classical directional derivative of vector fields on a manifold. This new derivative, the Levi Civita connection, was covariant in the sense that it satisfied Riemann's requirement that objects in geometry should be independent of the description in a particular coordinate system. It was soon noted by other mathematicians, prominent among these being Hermann Weyl, Jan Arnoldus Schouten, and Elie Carton, that a covariant derivative could be defined abstractly without the presence of a metric. The crucial feature was not a particular dependence on the metric, but that the Christoffel symbols satisfied a certain precise second-order transformation law. This transformation law could serve as a starting point for defining the derivative in a covariant manner. Thus the theory of covariant differentiation forked off from the strictly Riemannian context to include a wider range of possible geometries. In the 1940s, practitioners of differential geometry began introducing other notions of covariant differentiation in general vector bundles which were, in contrast to the classical bundles of interest to geometers, not part of the tensor analysis of the manifold. By and large, these generalized covariant derivatives had to be specified ad hoc by some version of the connection concept. In 1950, Jean-Louis Causal unified these new ideas of covariant differentiation in a vector bundle by means of what is known today as a causal connection or a connection on a vector bundle. Using ideas from Lie algebra cohomology, Causal successfully converted many of the analytic features of covariant differentiation into algebraic ones. In particular, causal connections eliminated the need for awkward manipulations of Christoffel symbols, and other analogous non-tensorial objects, in differential geometry. Thus they quickly supplanted the classical notion of covariant derivative in many post-1950 treatments of the subject. Topic. Motivation the covariant derivative is a generalization of the directional derivative from vector calculus. As with the directional derivative, the covariant derivative is a rule u v display style nabla underscore math bf u math bf v 
which takes as its inputs, 1, a vector, u, defined at a point p, and, 2, a vector field, v, defined in a neighborhood of p. The output is the vector u v p display style nabla underscore math bf u math bf v p also at the point p the primary difference from the usual directional derivative is that u v display style nabla underscore math bf u math bf v must, in a certain precise sense, be independent of the manner in which it is expressed in a coordinate system. A vector may be described as a list of numbers in terms of a basis, but as a geometrical object a vector retains its own identity regardless of how one chooses to describe it in a basis. This persistence of identity is reflected in the fact that when a vector is written in one basis, and then the basis is changed, the components of the vector transform according to a change of basis formula. Such a transformation law is known as a covariant transformation. The covariant derivative is required to transform, under a change in coordinates, in the same way as a basis does, the covariant derivative must change by a covariant transformation, hence the name. In the case of Euclidean space, one tends to define the derivative of a vector field in terms of the difference between two vectors at two nearby points. In such a system one translates one of the vectors to the origin of the other, keeping it parallel. With a Cartesian fixed orthonormal coordinate system, keeping it parallel amounts to keeping the components constant. Thus is obtained the simplest example, a covariant derivative which is obtained by taking the ordinary directional derivative of the components in the direction of the displacement vector between the two nearby points. In the general case, however, one must take into account the change of the coordinate system. For example, if the same covariant derivative is written in polar coordinates in a two-dimensional Euclidean plane, then it contains extra terms that describe how the coordinate grid itself rotates. In other cases the extra terms describe how the coordinate grid expands, contracts, twists, interweaves, etc. In this case, keeping it parallel does not amount to keeping components constant under translation. Consider the example of moving along a curve gamma t in the Euclidean plane. In polar coordinates, gamma may be written in terms of its radial and angular coordinates by gamma t equals r t theta t. A vector at a particular time t, for instance, the acceleration of the curve, is expressed in terms of e r e theta. Display style math bf e underscore r math bf e underscore theta, where e r Display style math bf e underscore r and e theta display style math bf e underscore theta a unit tangent vectors for the polar coordinates, serving as a basis to decompose a vector in terms of radial and tangential components. At a slightly later time, the new basis in polar coordinates appears slightly rotated with respect to the first set. The covariant derivative of the basis vectors, the Christoffel symbols, serve to express this change. In a curved space, such as the surface of the Earth, regarded as a sphere, the translation is not well defined and its analog, parallel transport, depends on the path along which the vector is translated. A vector e on a globe on the equator at point q is directed to the north. 
Suppose we parallel transport the vector first along the equator until at point P and then, keeping it parallel to itself, drag it along a meridian to the pole N and, keeping the direction there, subsequently transport it along another meridian back to Q then we notice that the parallel transported vector along a closed circuit does not return as the same vector, instead, it has another orientation. This would not happen in Euclidean space and is caused by the curvature of the surface of the globe. The same effect can be noticed if we drag the vector along an infinitesimally small closed surface subsequently along two directions and then back. The infinitesimal change of the vector is a measure of the curvature. Topic. Remarks. The definition of the covariant derivative does not use the metric in space. However, for each metric there is a unique torsion-free covariant derivative called the Levi-Civita connection such that the covariant derivative of the metric is zero. The properties of a derivative imply that V U depends on an arbitrarily small neighborhood of a point P in the same way as e.g. the derivative of a scalar function along a curve at a given point P depends on an arbitrarily small neighborhood of P. The information on the neighborhood of a point P in the covariant derivative can be used to define parallel transport of a vector. Also the curvature, torsion, and geodesics may be defined only in terms of the covariant derivative or other related variation on the idea of a linear connection. Topic. Informal definition using an embedding into Euclidean space Suppose a pseudo Riemann manifold M Display style M is embedded into Euclidean space R N display style math B R carrot N Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle via a twice continuously differentiable C two mapping Psi R D U R N display style vec psi math b r caret d subset u right arrow math b r caret n such that the tangent space at psi p element of m display style vec psi p in m is spanned by the vectors psi x i p i element of 1 d display style left l brace left frac partial vec psi partial x caret i right underscore p i in l brace 1 dots d r brace right r brace and the scalar product on R N display style math b R caret N is compatible with the metric on M G I J equals psi x I psi x J display style G underscore I J equals left Langle frac partial VEC psi partial X carrot I frac partial VEC psi partial X carrot J right wrangle since the manifold metric is always assumed to be regular the compatibility condition implies linear independence of the partial derivative tangent vectors for a tangent vector field v equals v j 
psi x j display style vec v equals v caret j frac partial vec psi partial x caret j one has v x i equals v j x i psi x j plus v j 2 psi x i x j Display style frac partial vec v partial x caret i equals frac partial v caret j partial x caret i frac partial vec psi partial x caret j plus v caret j frac partial caret two vec psi partial x caret i partial x caret j. The last term is not tangential to m, but can be expressed as a linear combination of the tangent space base vectors using the Christoffel symbols as linear factors plus a vector orthogonal to the tangent space 2 psi x i x j equals gamma k I J Psi X K plus N Display style frac partial carrot two VEC psi partial x carrot I partial x carrot j equals gamma carrot k underscore i j frac partial VEC psi partial x carrot k plus VEC N. In the case of the Levi Civita connection, the covariant derivative E I V Display style nabla underscore math bf e underscore i vec v also written i v display style nabla underscore i vec v is defined as the orthogonal projection of the usual derivative onto tangent space e i v equals V x i minus n equals v k x i plus v j gamma k i j Psi x k display style nabla underscore math bf e underscore i vec v equals frac partial vec v partial x caret i vec n equals left frac partial v caret k partial x caret i plus v caret j gamma caret k underscore i j right frac partial vec psi partial x caret k since n display style vec n is orthogonal to tangent space one can solve the normal equations 2 psi x i x j psi x l equals Gamma K I J Psi X K Psi X L equals Gamma 
K I J G K L Display style left langle frac partial carrot two BEC psi partial x carrot I partial x carrot J frac partial BEC psi partial x carrot L right wrangle equals gamma carrot K underscore I J left langle frac partial BEC psi partial x carrot K frac partial BEC psi partial x carrot L Right, wrangle equals gamma carrot k underscore i j g underscore k l. On the other hand, g a b x c equals two psi x c x. A psi x b plus psi x a two psi x c x b Display style frac partial g underscore ab partial x carrot c equals left langle frac partial carrot two bec psi partial x carrot c partial x carrot a frac partial bec psi partial x carrot b right wrangle plus left langle frac partial bec psi partial x carrot a frac partial carrot two bec Psi partial x carrot c partial x carrot b right wrangle implies g j k x i g k i x j g i J X K equals zero one 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 zero one 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 zero Psi X I two Psi x j x k psi x j two psi x k x i psi x k Two. Psi x i x j display style begin p matrix frac partial g underscore j k partial x carrot i frac partial g underscore key partial x carrot j frac partial g underscore i j partial x carrot k end p matrix equals begin p matrix zero and one and one one and zero and one one and one and zero end p matrix begin p matrix Left Langle frac partial VEC psi partial x carrot I frac partial carrot two VEC psi partial x carrot J partial x carrot K right wrangle left Langle frac partial VEC psi partial x carrot J frac partial carrot two VEC psi partial x carrot K partial x carrot I right wrangle 
left langle frac partial vec psi partial x caret k frac partial caret 2 vec psi partial x caret i partial x caret j right wrangle end p matrix using the symmetry of the scalar product and swapping the order of partial differentiations g j k x i plus g k i x j minus g i j x k equals 2 psi x k 2 psi x i x j display E style frac partial G underscore JK partial X carrot I plus frac partial G underscore key partial X carrot J frac partial G underscore I J partial X carrot K equals two left Langle frac partial VEC psi partial X carrot K frac partial carrot two VEC psi partial X carrot I partial X carrot J right wrangle and yields the Christoffel symbols for the levi civita connection in terms of the metric g k l gamma k i j equals 1 2 g j l X I plus G L I X J minus G I J X L Display style G underscore KL, Gamma carrot K underscore IJ equals frac one two left frac partial G underscore JL partial X carrot I plus frac partial G underscore Lee partial X carrot J frac partial G underscore IJ partial X carrot L right for a very simple example that captures the essence of the description above, draw a circle on a flat sheet of paper. Travel around the circle at a constant speed. The derivative of your velocity, your acceleration vector, always points radially inward. Roll this sheet of paper into a cylinder. Now the Euclidean derivative of your velocity has a component that sometimes points inward toward the axis of the cylinder depending on whether you're near a solstice or an equinox. At the point of the circle when you are moving parallel to the axis, there is no inward acceleration. Conversely, at a point one quarter of a circle later, when the velocity is along the cylinder's bend, the inward acceleration is maximum. This is the Euclidean normal component. The covariant derivative component is the component parallel to the cylinder's surface, and is the same as that before you rolled the sheet into a cylinder. Topic. Formal definition. A covariant derivative is a causal connection on the tangent bundle and other tensor bundles. Thus it has a certain behavior on vector fields that extends that of the usual differential on functions. It also extends in a unique way to the duals of vector fields, i.e., covector fields, and to arbitrary tensor fields, that ensures compatibility with the tensor product and trace operations, tensor contraction. Topic. Functions 
Given a point p of the manifold, a real function f on the manifold, and a tangent vector v at p, the covariant derivative of f at p along v is the scalar at p, denoted v f p display style left nabla underscore math bf v f right underscore p that represents the principal part of the change in the value of f when the argument of f is changed by the infinitesimal displacement vector v. This is the differential of f evaluated against the vector v. Formally, there is a differentiable curve phi minus 1 1 m display style phi minus 1 1 to m such that phi 0 equals p display style phi 0 equals p and phi 0 equals v display style phi 0 equals math bf v and the covariant derivative of f at p is defined by v f p equals f phi 0 equals lim t 0 t minus 1 f phi t minus f p Display style left nabla underscore math bf v f right underscore p equals left f circ phi right left zero right equals lim underscore t to zero t carrot minus one left f left phi left t right right f left p right right When v is a vector field, the covariant derivative v f display style nabla underscore math bf v f is the function that associates with each point p in the common domain of f and v the scalar v f p display style left nabla underscore math bf v f right underscore p this coincides with the usual Lie derivative of f along the vector field v. Topic: Vector fields. A covariant derivative. Display style nabla. At a point p in a smooth manifold assigns a tangent vector. V. U. P display style nabla underscore math bf v math bf u underscore p to each pair u v display style math bf u math bf v consisting of a tangent vector v at p and vector field u defined in a neighborhood of p, such that the following properties hold for any vectors v, x and y at p, vector fields u and w defined in a neighborhood of p, scalar values g and h at p, and scalar function f defined in a neighborhood of p v u p Display style left nabla underscore math bf v math bf u right underscore p is linear in v display style math bf v so g x plus h y u p equals x u p g plus y 
U P H Display style left navla underscore G Math BF X plus H Math BF Y Math BF U right underscore P equals left navla underscore Math BF X Math BF U right underscore P G plus left navla underscore Math BF Y Math BF U right underscore P H B U P Display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U right underscore P is additive in U Display style Math BF U So V U plus W P equals V U P plus V W P Display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V left Math BF U plus Math BF W right right underscore P equals left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U right underscore P plus left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF W right underscore P V U P Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U underscore P obeys the product rule, i.e. where V F Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V F is defined above V F U P equals F P V U P plus V F P U P Display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V left F Math BF U right right underscore P equals F P left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U underscore P plus Nabla underscore Math BF V F right underscore P Math BF U underscore P If U and V are both vector fields defined over a common domain, then V U Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U denotes the vector field whose value at each point P of the domain is the tangent vector V U P Display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U right underscore P Note that V U P display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U right underscore P depends not only on the value of V at P but also on values of U in an infinitesimal neighborhood of P because of the last property, the product rule. Topic: Covector fields. Given a field of covectors or one form alpha, display style alpha, defined in a neighborhood of P, its covariant derivative v alpha p, display style navla underscore math bf v alpha underscore p is defined in a way to make the resulting operation compatible with tensor contraction and the product rule. That is V alpha P 
Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V alpha underscore P is defined as the unique one form at P such that the following identity is satisfied for all vector fields U in a neighborhood of P V alpha P U P equals V alpha U P minus alpha P V U P Display style left Nabla underscore Math BF V alpha right underscore P left Math BF U underscore P right equals Nabla underscore Math BF V left alpha left Math BF U right right underscore P alpha underscore P left left Nabla underscore Math BF V Math BF U right underscore P right the covariant derivative of a covector field along a vector field V is again a covector field. Topic: Tensor fields. Once the covariant derivative is defined for fields of vectors and covectors, it can be defined for arbitrary tensor fields by imposing the following identities for every pair of tensor fields. Phi display style var phi and psi display style psi in a neighborhood of the point P V Phi Psi P equals V Phi P Psi P plus Phi P V Psi P Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V left var phi O times Psi right underscore P equals left Nabla underscore Math BF V var phi right underscore P O times Psi P plus var phi P O times left Nabla underscore Math BF V Psi right underscore P and four Phi display style var phi and psi display style psi of the same valence v phi plus psi p equals v phi p plus V Psi P Display style Nabla underscore Math BF V Varfi plus Psi underscore P equals Nabla underscore Math BF V Varfi underscore P plus Nabla underscore Math BF V Psi underscore P the covariant derivative of a tensor field along a vector field V is again a tensor field of the same type. Explicitly, let T be a tensor field of type P, Q. Consider T to be a differentiable multilinear map of smooth sections α1, α2, αQ of the cotangent bundle Tm and of sections x1, x2, XP of the tangent bundle trademark, written T, alpha 1, alpha 2, x1, x2, into R. The covariant derivative of T along Y is given by the formula Y T alpha 1 alpha 2 x 1 x 2 equals y t 
alpha 1 alpha 2 x 1 x 2 minus t y alpha 1 alpha 2 x 1 x 2 minus t alpha 1 y alpha 2 x 1 x 2 minus minus t alpha 1 alpha 2 y x 1 x 2 minus t alpha 1 alpha 2 x 1 y x 2 Minus display style begin aligned nabla underscore y t and left alpha underscore one alpha underscore two l dots x underscore one x underscore two l dots right equals y left t left alpha underscore one alpha underscore two l dots x underscore one x underscore two l dots right right and t left nabla underscore y alpha underscore 1 alpha underscore 2 L dots X underscore 1 X underscore 2 L dots right T left alpha underscore 1 nabla underscore Y alpha underscore 2 L dots X underscore 1 X underscore 2 L dots right L dots and T left alpha underscore 1 alpha underscore 2 L dots nabla underscore Y X underscore 1 X underscore 2 L dots right T left alpha underscore one alpha underscore two L dots X underscore one nabla underscore Y X underscore two L dots right L dots end aligned. Topic Coordinate description Given coordinate functions X I I equals zero one two display style x caret I I equals zero one two dots. Any tangent vector can be described by its components in the basis E I equals x I Display style math BF E underscore I equals partial over partial x carrot I The covariant derivative of a basis vector along a basis vector is again a vector and so can be expressed as a linear combination. Gamma K E K Display style gamma carrot K math BF E underscore K to specify the covariant derivative it is enough to specify the covariant derivative of each basis vector field e i display style math bf e underscore i along e j display style math bf e underscore j e j E I equals Gamma K I J E K 
Display style nabla underscore math BF E underscore J Math BF E underscore I equals gamma carrot K underscore I J Math BF E underscore K The coefficients Gamma I J K Display style gamma underscore I J carrot K are the components of the connection with respect to a system of local coordinates. In the theory of Riemannian and pseudo-Riemannian manifolds, the components of the Levi-Civita connection with respect to a system of local coordinates are called Christoffel symbols. Then using the rules in the definition, we find that for general vector fields, V equals V J E J Display style Math BF V equals V carrot J Math BF E underscore J and U equals U I E I Display style Math BF U equals U carrot I Math BF E underscore I We get V U equals V J E J U I E I equals V J E J U I E I equals V J U I E J E I plus V J E I E J U I equals V J U I Gamma K I J E K plus V J U I X J E I Display style begin aligned Navler underscore Math BF V Math BF U and equals Navler underscore V carrot J Math BF E underscore J U carrot I Math BF E underscore I and equals V carrot J Navler underscore Math BF E underscore J U carrot I Math BF E underscore I and equals V carrot J U carrot I Navla underscore Math BF E underscore J Math BF E underscore I plus V carrot J Math BF E underscore I Navla underscore Math BF E underscore J U carrot I and equals V carrot J U carrot I Gamma carrot K underscore I J Math BF E underscore K plus V carrot J partial U carrot I over partial X carrot J Math BF E underscore I end aligned so V U equals V J U I Gamma K I J plus V J U K X J E K Display style Navla underscore Math BF V Math BF U equals left V carrot J U carrot I gamma carrot K underscore I J plus V carrot J partial U carrot K over partial X carrot J right Math BF E underscore K the first term in this formula is responsible for twisting the coordinate system with respect to the covariant derivative and the second for changes of components of the vector field U. In particular, 
e j u equals j u equals u i x j plus u k gamma i k j e i Display style Navla underscore Math BF E underscore J Math BF U equals Navla underscore J Math BF U equals left frac partial U carrot I partial X carrot J plus U carrot K gamma carrot I underscore KJ right Math BF E underscore I in words, the covariant derivative is the usual derivative along the coordinates with correction terms which tell how the coordinates change. For covectors similarly we have e j theta equals theta i x j minus theta k gamma k i j e i Display style Nabla underscore Math BF E underscore J Math BF theta equals left frac partial theta underscore I partial x carrot J theta underscore K gamma carrot K underscore I J right Math BF E carrot asterisk carrot I where E I E J equals delta i j display style math bf e caret asterisk caret i math bf e underscore j equals delta caret i underscore j. The covariant derivative of a type R S tensor field along E C Display style e underscore c is given by the expression e c t a one a r b one b s equals x c T A one A R B one B S plus Gamma O one D C T D A Two A R B one B S plus plus Gamma A R D C T A one A R minus one D B one B S minus Gamma D B one C T A one A R D B two B S minus minus gamma D B S C T A one A R B one B S minus one D
Display style begin aligned nabla underscore e underscore c t carrot r underscore one l dots r underscore r underscore b underscore one l dots b underscore s equals and frac partial partial x carrot c t carrot r underscore one l dots r underscore r underscore b underscore one l dots b underscore s and plus gamma carrot r underscore one underscore D C T carrot dar underscore two L dots are underscore R underscore B underscore one L dots B underscore S plus C D O T S plus Gamma carrot R underscore R underscore D C T carrot R underscore one L dots are underscore R one D underscore B underscore one L dots B underscore S and Gamma carrot D underscore B underscore one C T carrot R underscore Score one L dots are underscore R underscore D B underscore two L dots B underscore S C D O T S Gamma carrot D underscore B underscore S C T carrot R underscore one L dots are underscore R underscore B underscore one L dots B underscore S one D end aligned or in words take the partial derivative of the tensor and add plus gamma a i d c display style plus gamma caret or underscore i underscore d c for every upper index a i display style or underscore i and minus gamma D B I C display style gamma carrot D underscore B underscore I C for every lower index B I display style B underscore I if instead of a tensor, one is trying to differentiate a tensor density of weight plus one, then you also add a term minus gamma d d c t a one a r b one b S display style gamma carrot d underscore d c t carrot r underscore one l dots r underscore r underscore b underscore one l dots b underscore s. If it is a tensor density of weight w, then multiply that term by w. For example, minus g. Display style sqrt g is a scalar density of weight plus one, so we get minus g c equals minus g c minus minus g gamma d D C display style left sqrt g right underscore c equals left sqrt g right underscore c sqrt g gamma caret d underscore d c where semicolon quote semicolon quote indicates covariant differentiation and comma quote comma quote indicates partial differentiation. Incidentally, this particular expression is equal to zero, because the covariant derivative of a function solely of the metric is always zero. Examples <laughs> 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 Display style, display style, phi. Covariant differentiation is simply partial differentiation. 
phi a a phi display style display style phi underscore a equivalent partial underscore a phi for a contravariant vector field lambda a display style lambda caret a we have lambda a b b lambda a plus gamma a b c lambda c display style lambda caret a underscore b equivalent partial underscore b lambda caret a plus gamma caret a underscore b c lambda caret c for a covariant vector field lambda a display style lambda underscore a we have lambda a c c lambda a minus gamma b c a lambda b display style lambda underscore a c equivalent partial underscore c lambda underscore a gamma caret b underscore c a lambda underscore b for a type 2 0 tensor field tau a b display style tau caret ab we have tau a b c c tau a b plus gamma a c d tau d b plus gamma b C D Tau A D Display style Tau carrot ab underscore C equivalent partial underscore C Tau carrot ab plus gamma carrot a underscore C D Tau carrot D B plus gamma carrot B underscore C D Tau carrot add for a type zero two tensor field tau a b display style tau underscore ab we have tau a b c c tau a b minus Gamma D C A Tau D B minus Gamma D C B Tau A D Display style tau underscore ab c equivalent partial underscore c tau underscore ab gamma carrot d underscore c a tau underscore d b gamma carrot d underscore c b tau underscore add for a type one one tensor field tau a b Display style tau carrot a underscore b. We have tau a b c c tau a b plus gamma a c d tau D B minus 
gamma d c b tau a d display style tau caret underscore b c equivalent partial underscore c tau caret underscore b plus gamma caret underscore c d tau caret d underscore b gamma caret d underscore c b tau caret underscore d the notation above is meant in the sense tau a b C E C tau A B display style tau caret ab underscore C equivalent left nabla underscore math B F E underscore C tau right caret ab covariant derivatives do not commute, i.e. lambda A B C does not equal lambda A C B display style lambda underscore a B C n e q lambda underscore a C B. It can be shown that lambda A B C minus Lambda A C B equals R D A B C Lambda D Display style lambda underscore a b c lambda underscore a c b equals r caret d underscore a b c lambda underscore d, where r d a b c display style r caret d underscore a b c is the Riemann tensor. Similarly. Lambda A B C minus Lambda A C B equals minus R A D B C Lambda D Display style lambda carrot a underscore b c lambda carrot a underscore c b equals r carrot a underscore d b c lambda carrot d and tau a b c d minus tau a b d C equals minus R A E C D Tau E B minus R B E C D Tau A E Display style Tau carrot ab underscore C D Tau carrot ab underscore D C equals R carrot a underscore E C D Tau carrot E B R carrot B underscore E C D Tau carrot air The latter can be shown by taking without loss of generality that Tau A B equals Lambda O mu B Display style Tau carrot ab equals Lambda carrot a mu carrot B. Topic Notation 
In textbooks on physics, the covariant derivative is sometimes simply stated in terms of its components in this equation. Often a notation is used in which the covariant derivative is given with a semicolon, while a normal partial derivative is indicated by a comma. In this notation we write the same as E J V equals D E F V S J E S V I J equals V I J plus V K gamma I K J Display style nabla underscore e underscore j math bf v stackrel mathrum def equals v caret s underscore j e underscore s v caret i underscore j equals v caret i underscore j plus v caret k gamma caret i underscore k j once again this shows that the covariant derivative of a vector field is not just simply obtained by differentiating to the coordinates v i j display style v caret i underscore j but also depends on the vector v itself through v k gamma i K J display style v caret k gamma caret i underscore k j. In some older texts, notably Adler, Bazin, and Schiffer, Introduction to General Relativity, the covariant derivative is denoted by a double pipe and the partial derivative by single pipe. E j v equals d e f v i j equals v i j plus v k gamma i k j. Display style nabla underscore e underscore j math b f v stackrel mathrum def equals v caret i underscore j equals v Carrot I underscore J plus V carrot K gamma carrot I underscore KJ. Topic Derivative along curve. Since the covariant derivative X T displaystyle Nabla underscore X T of a tensor field T display style T at a point P display style P depends only on the value of the vector field X display style X at P display style P one can define the covariant derivative along a smooth curve gamma T display style gamma T in a manifold D T T equals gamma T T display style D underscore T T equals nabla underscore dot gamma T T note that the tensor field T display style t only needs to be defined on the curve gamma t display style gamma t for this definition to make sense in particular gamma t display style dot gamma t is a vector field along the curve gamma display style gamma itself if gamma t gamma t display style nabla underscore dot gamma t dot gamma t 
vanishes then the curve is called a geodesic of the covariant derivative. If the covariant derivative is the levi civita connection of a certain metric then the geodesics for the connection are precisely the geodesics of the metric that are parametrized by arc length. The derivative along a curve is also used to define the parallel transport along the curve. Sometimes the covariant derivative along a curve is called absolute or intrinsic derivative. Topic: <laughs> Relation to Lie derivative. A covariant derivative introduces an extra geometric structure on a manifold that allows vectors in neighboring tangent spaces to be compared. This extra structure is necessary because there is no canonical way to compare vectors from different vector spaces, as is necessary for this generalization of the directional derivative. There is however another generalization of directional derivatives which is canonical, the Lie derivative. The Lie derivative evaluates the change of one vector field along the flow of another vector field. Thus, one must know both vector fields in an open neighborhood. The covariant derivative on the other hand introduces its own change for vectors in a given direction, and it only depends on the vector direction at a single point, rather than a vector field in an open neighborhood of a point. In other words, the covariant derivative is linear over C infinity M in the direction argument, while the Lie derivative is linear in neither argument. Note that the anti-symmetrized covariant derivative uv minus v, and the Lie derivative love differ by the torsion of the connection, so that if a connection is torsion-free, then its anti-symmetrization is the Lie derivative. See also <laughs> Notes <laughs> <laughs>